Um, Wayne Schwartz reached out to us um, probably about 18 months ago now, um, just via an Instagram message. Um, he sort of followed what we've been doing and wanted a little bit of hand with an idea that he, uh, that he had. Uh, little did we know this idea would turn into what Pucker Up is now. Um, we met up and had a pretty quiet chat um, between Wayne and Andy and myself and really understood his vision um, behind his story and, and what he was trying to achieve. After our meeting, we came up with a strategy about where we believed his, um, his project lay and where, where it could possibly be taken. Um, and he teamed up with some other uh, great individuals to, to launch what today is, um, is Pucker Up. It's always nice when you've got belief in a project and Wayne first came to us to talk about what he wanted to achieve and what he was hoping to do. Um, it resonated with me immediately. Uh, years and years ago, uh, I was working, I was probably in my early 20s, and I worked with a guy who, for all intents and purposes, very happy, very likeable, very popular. Um, the guy happened to live next door to me, um, and it was a huge surprise to me uh, when I found out one morning that he committed suicide. And he had, um, obviously, issues with depression and anxiety, which I was not aware of, nor was anyone in his peer group. Um, so when Wayne came to us, immediately I thought of this chap, and uh, how things could have been different if uh, he had uh, greater confidence in his ability to speak about the issue more openly and where that might have led him. So um, yeah, it, it's nice to work on a project that, that touches you, uh, it, it creates more passion in what you do and, and this is certainly a project that we're very passionate about and, and full credit to Wayne for what he's achieved so far. We've got a brief lockdown for the, for the Pucker Up branding. Um, we wanted to convey something that was genuine and authentic. Um, the colours at the time, we, we were just sticking to black and white with the logo in white on a dark background, so the light coming out of the black. Um, and it's, it's, it's come up really well. It's been good to see it sort of roll out across all the mediums. Um, it's been even better to see people sort of respond and, and really get involved. People are, are, are really taking it on and and running with it and it's it looks like it's doing some good it's amazing it's it's it's, it's such a good cause to be a part of it's really rewarding so across the pucker up digital assets now which comprise of instagram twitter and facebook we have in excess of 10,000 followers uh, facebook's been our fastest growing the engagement from that community on there has been second to none and it's it's almost been as quick as any other project that we've worked on over the last uh, few months initially we focused with facebook live obviously wayne's persona uh, in the community was quite big, especially resonating with the football crowd. Um, and Facebook Live allowed him to answer direct questions and, and people to ask direct questions of him. As the project's gone on, we've become probably a little bit more refined in the content that we create. Um, we find the graphics, especially across Instagram, work really well. And the video content that, that we're producing um, is performing really well. And one of the first videos that we ever uh, put together is now at uh, just over 280,000 reach and over 125,000 views and totally organically. Across Facebook we're averaging about 220 fans per month which is a fantastic sign and we're really excited to be involved in the Pucker Up Suicide Prevention Bike Ride and we encourage everyone to jump across because uh, mental health is, is super important in Pucker Up.